Hi, this is Fansler 308, and this is my review of my flak vest and my load bearing vest. Save battery. Alright, I'll start with my flak vest. It will stop grenade shrapnel and maybe 9mm. Uh, this isn't what we wear currently, but this only costs $130, so I bought one. It has a ballistic collar, and in the front, you have about two and a half inches of overlap right here. Um, it has adjust, well, it has shoulder pads that you unsnap from here and in the back so you can put your suspenders under it. And it has elastic here. Alright, moving on. It has places to attach grenades and you can also fit an M12 holster in here or uh, another pouch. It has two pouches that will hold one 5.56 magazine each with being able to close and about three not being able to close. And it has that on both sides. Alright, this is my load bearing vest. It, um, it was used in the uh, early or very late 80s and early 90s up until, well this model till the mid 1990s. It's connected with two fast text buckles. It holds six 5.56 magazines, which is reminiscent of the uh, Alice belt, because you would hold six magazines, three in each of your pouches. It holds two frag grenades, and it has loops down here so you can attach a pistol belt. Um, then over here, you can't really. Well, over here, you can attach a compass pouch or a first aid pouch or something like that. And it also has a snap that goes over on this side. Ugh, this is really old. It's probably one of the first produced ones. So it's kind of broken, just like that. Then, on the back, this, is how, this has gone through a lot of repair over the years. Um, you can attach more pouches up here. Then you can attach your butt pack up here, but as I've said, it's gone through a lot of modification. It has two different D-rings. Uh, then you can uh, attach your pistol belt back here too. I've had to use some fake 550 cord back here, because when I got it, it was all shredded. Um, overall, this vest is good if you want something that will give you a little bit of protection. It will not stop a rifle round and probably not even a 45 round. It's not very heavy. It's actually pretty comfortable. Um, it does get a little hot, but probably not as hot as the newer ones will. Um, overall, I think it's pretty good. As for the load bearing vest, it's okay if you just want something that's light and cheap. Alright, thanks for watching.